I'm telling you, every day my brother would come home with a black eye. His one point, his ear, he had lost hearing in his ear. Um, and his ear was like this swollen. And every day my, my mother was taking my brother to the hospital, to the ER, because he was getting beat up. That's bringing me to the conclusion of why he probably felt the need to protect himself. The day that it actually happened, my brother had the starter pistol and he and his friends were at, at the park. He was walking up the block and he probably was like, you know, brandishing the gun, like showing it to his friends and things like that. This is Intervale Road um, and Bryant School to my left. My brother took off um, from the other side and he came out this driveway here and he probably cut across this grass here, you know, I'm assuming once again, once he ran into the backyard and he knew that he couldn't go anywhere, um, he was surrendering. Some eyewitnesses who were here at the time were, said that they heard my brother saying, don't shoot, don't shoot, with his hands raised in the air. So. Once we got to the ER, the entrance, it was, a slew, like maybe 12 to 20 something officers just lined up in riot gear. They had on like white helmets and then they had their nightsticks and it was almost like a, like an army brigade, like they were waiting for something to happen. And then I knew my brother was dead when, as my mother and I were walking through, like the all of those officers, I literally saw one of my brother's best friends that used to come over our house all the time, banging his head against the wall. And it was blood just like profusely gushing out of his head. And when I saw Chuck doing that, I said, I know he's dead. I know he's dead. So, okay, I have to, what I have to do now is be strong for my mother because this is what Clint would do. It was no reason for that cop to shoot him in his back. It was no reason. More trouble broke out the next evening during a vigil for Pinnell. Dozens of teenagers went on a rampage, and suddenly, this community's self-image was shattered. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. The relief of Teaneck police officer Gary Spath and the anguish of the Pinnell family in the courtroom became the emotions of a man acquitted and the protests of those still angered by the verdict. As a family, we were shocked at the verdict because of the fact, the way my brother was killed and shot in the back, we thought that, you know, it was a close case. We were kind of clueless as to the judicial system and how it really works, you know, um, and how the police are primarily not held accountable for, for things that they do. I'm thinking to myself, my brother didn't deserve to die. He didn't deserve to die in the manner that he died and he's just dead and that's it he's dead nobody was held accountable if anything he was held accountable for his own death hey nbc news fans thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews show highlights and digital exclusives thanks for watching